Hello, Phil from Got Memories here. Okay, so I am working on a mini DVD project. Now, these old camcorders, they take the discs uh, from, you know, 2003, 2012, kind of that era. Um, many people did not finalize their discs. So that is the process in which you have to go through the menu Boop, 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 finalize, put the lock and key on it, basically, so you can't record over stuff, you can't screw it up, and then it's got extra code on it where it can be read by regular DVD players. Now, if you've got your discs and you're putting them in a DVD player and it's just clicking and clicking and then it just comes up with disc not recognized, it's not the end of the world. A lot of people assume that their stuff is gone or the disc is blank or any of that stuff. But when you've got like handwritten notes on it, yeah, you're like, wait a minute, no, there's definitely stuff on there. And also if there's information on the disc, it's got a different shade of purple on it. You can actually see the different colorations. Blank space is deep purple and a lighter shade of purple is gonna be the burned information, the data on there. Now, very common for me to receive discs that are not finalized. People don't even know what finalizing is. And there's all these different brands of cameras that, you know, all the different brands, makes, models, everything, where it, it is specific to that brand. So if you had Panasonic, there's like three different versions of Panasonic even. Toshiba, um, what are the other ones? Sharp, um, it goes on and on and on. So if you don't know, you don't have the original camera, you're kind of you're kind of stuck, um, as am I. And so people give me all their stuff, and I have to figure out what brand of camera they use, and I've got to finalize them. Sometimes they don't finalize, sometimes they do. Um, this particular video is a classic case of um, a disc not finalizing. These are all Sony discs. So this particular disc here uh, says here on here... Uh, Ella's ninth birthday party. Actually, no, that isn't the one. Stand by. Um, this one right here. Now, this is another issue with discs. Is C... Oh, don't forget the light right. People have scratched discs. These are very prone to being scratched. Oh, what that is, is some sort of mystery substance. Uh, and also, see at the top. Do you see that purple, that like hole? It's like a sunspot, you know? So this is basically where the, the, the uh, disc is degrading and it can no longer be read. So that's just a blank gap there. If these things have been left in heat, uh, yeah, you can see it better there at the top. Um, this uh, would not read. And the reason for me making this video is I just confirmed um, my suspicions with these discs, this is Sony, this is Sony, okay? Even though one will uh, not read it, sometimes if there's these problem discs, these particular Sony, there's certain versions of the Sony, yeah, movie recording disabled, if you can see that, and it gives you a little flashing thing. So to finalize it, if it will allow you to finalize it, they've all got different uh, methods. So you hit that there, finalize, function not currently available. So if that's the case, you know, that that's the first step. Second step is, let's have a look, putting it in these particular Sony, these are the earlier models of Sony DVD camcorders and they're just a lot more robust. Like these even feel plasticky and cheap and eh. These are just kind of bulletproof, just solid. Um, and they do perform finalizing better. Um, ah, see, recording disabled. Oh, it does say a date on it. So it came up with a date, but it's given me the eject flash button, which isn't good so there is another step that i take um and uh oh gosh you've got a this scratch is it scratch or is it funk yeah i thought i got that off give it a clean now 
I know there's going to be some trolls going, oh, you need to use microfibers, which, yeah, I do typically, but just for the sake of quickness here, not getting out my isopropyl and all that, I'm just going to give that another quick wipe down because I forgot about that in the meantime. It still clicks, yeah. Whenever you see that, see, look, the finalized button is grayed out. That, yeah, so whenever it's like that, the last ditch effort is you have to run it through, and I've got a video on this, is a program called CD Roller. Um, it's like a hundred bucks. It's hit and miss, it really is. I've got a video on it, it's very time consuming. Um, but it is a recovery um, software. So I'm going to do another video on that with this particular disc and then uh, see where we're at with it. Um, here's another one that wouldn't finalize. Let's see. This one here. This one. Let's see. I'm going to do a test in here and find out what's what. Also, a lot of people don't have anything written on their discs. So within the discs themselves, if you'd set the um, if you'd set the date and time correctly, here we go. Look, finalize. See, this is what you need to do. Finalize. Come on, I'm doing this one-handed. Ugh. Disc finalized. Function not available. So let's have a look at this one here because that was giving me trouble. And now it's not. Let's pop it in the DVD player. Have a look. Let's put another one in. It's the 2008. This one I know had. See, look, you can see the different shades. So the lighter shade of purple is uh, data, and then the darker side is blank space. So look, disc is incompatible. That's what I just put in there. So this that disc there has got problems. And this is very, very common with these discs. People think, oh, you know, it's just, just straightforward stuff. 20% of the time it is, but then, you you know, I build into my cost all of these problems. And I don't charge for anything I can't recover. So I'll go through all these different steps. Um, and additionally, finally, see, look, function not available. So that one, let's try it in the robust one finalize um i mean you can feel the weight of this thing while well, granted it's got a battery on the back end of it but these do um give me less hassle trying to finalize them um and these these discs are in good shape most people's discs i see are, if you've got scratches on them you haven't kept them in the cases psh, good luck they're gonna skip just like regular home move, uh, you know, we used to rent movies from Blockbuster and Netflix and you get them in and they'd just be skipping and same thing. Even though commercial DVDs are a lot more, um, you know, scratch resistant than, than the home movie stuff. Yeah, finalize. Um, and the thing is with, um, let's have a look. <laughs> The thing is with um, DVD, the CD roller, it is PC only. So I have to get my only PC out because I can't stand Windows. Um, personally, personal preference, I, Mac just works. PC, I open it up and it's just viruses and oh God. Anyway, a lot of people, trolley people, do comment on that, and I'm not, uh, yeah. Um, so this program is is uh, based on the Mac. Let's have a look here. Put my password on. Yeah. Oh, janky, janky. You do go on Windows, it's like going back to 1992. <laughs> Open. CD roller. All right, so, you yeah, know, no malware. Here we go, all the advertising and, okay. CD roller. Unknown file system. 
Okay, it does recognize it as a DVD. Okay, yep. Track one, and sometimes you can figure out what it does because it gives you a drop down menu of all the different formats. Sometimes. So we've got all these tracks. So he's recognizing all of this stuff here. So stand by. Uh, let's have a look here. Track one. I'm going to go ahead and check all of them. Oh, come on. Uh, how do you get... I'm so PC dumb. Okay, because it's just... You can tell. I don't like it. Okay, multiple tracks. Next. Oh, I've got my finger over it. Next. Sometimes this doesn't even do it. It fails immediately. Um, and then it's going to scan the disc. Initialization, intensive scan. And then this bar is going to go one, two, three, you know, this might take an hour or two. Once it's gone through all of this, it creates um, VOB files. I got to take the VOB files and then I've got to turn those to MPEG-4 files. Um, and, okay, 62%. Let's just see what it says after. All of this is data recovery these days. All this disk, all these data, all this data disk stuff is just all data, 40% hardcore data recovery. Because you've got to, yeah, see, look, that's the first step. Intensive scan. So it's going through all those sectors. Remember when I did 1 through 12? It's going to do that 12 times with every single one. So anyway, this video will be forever. Um, but anyway, I'm going to leave that alone. Hopefully, it comes through and gives me a VOB file or a couple. Then I'm going to take it into software, render it to MPEG-4, which takes like another, you know, half hour or hour, whatever it may be. Um, so that's that. Also, on all of these discs, they do have the dates in them. So some people have not got anything written on their discs. So what you must do in any transfer company, period, that's doing this stuff, should put the dates in there, the to and from. I see all these crappy companies, and all they do is just put a serial number from the barcode that they've slapped on or you've slapped on. And so, you know, this customer doesn't quite know anything. So I'm taking all of the data that I can make out and, you know, all of this information here wasn't on the disk. This bit is crab catching, da 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 da. But I put like the exact dates on some of them. It's given it April 3rd through 26th, da 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 da. So that is basics, mandatory, unacceptable if that's not done. And you've got to go through the entire menu through the old school remote to get the dates. So December 9th, you know, and then you go down here. That's the right remote. Anyway, you get the point. You hit the next, there's two pages on here. This is all very basic stuff that any um, video transfer professional, period. No excuse to not do this. That is the standard. Um, and that is why you see this, the reviews. Um, and, you know, all the, the work I get in from around the, around the world. Um, but as I say again and again on my channel, you've got to do your homework. There's no excuse to be crying about getting crappy work done these days with the amount of information that's out there on the web. Terrible reviews at all these companies because all this media is deteriorating. 20 years ago, I did not see the problems I see today. It's because the tapes, all the videotapes, film reels, everything is just on a <laughs> decline. And all of the equipment, the players need to ma be maintained five, ten times more than they were 20 years ago. Because all the pieces, the tapes and everything are oxidizing. They're all coming off. There's mold. There's all sorts of crap from people not storing their media in correct, you know, five to ten years before things start to go downhill. If you've left it in your garage, attic, unair conditioned, you know, areas, damp basements that significantly increases the degradation um, timeline. And, and, and none of these companies that you send in the advertising, especially cheap places, are not transferring anything. Even a speck of 
mold or anything. They reject the entire order and you might get a refund. Most of the time it's a credit. And you're like, well, that's all my stuff. Why would I, I just want a refund. Oh, we can't refund you. So anyway, do your homework. If you've got this stuff, if you're trying to do this yourself, you're gonna need a lot of equipment, a lot of patience and going on eBay and buying junk. Unfortunately, people are just reselling other people's junk. No, no power cables, no AV cables, um, no warranty sold as is, you know, all that stuff. I mean, I have to resource all my stuff off eBay and 70% of what I get in doesn't work. Doesn't work, period. Now I know how to fix stuff and I've got Tim next door as well to help me fix stuff. So it's, it's an equipment maintenance business, first and foremost, this industry, um, which that is the last thing on the list with all of these mass marketing corporate companies. Equipment maintenance is like, you know, very, very, very low on priority. Number one priority is marketing. Marketing, genius marketing to get the dollars out of people's wallets for clicks on the screen. Click, put your credit card in. Come on, special offer. Amazing, first class at that, but can't take their professionalism and their brain power into simple VCR and equipment maintenance. And that is the scam going on in this industry right now and why I scream from the rooftops about all of this crap. I'm busy as it is. I'm slowly trying to change the industry, just me, my silly self, after 20 years of doing this, because I'm sick of it. It's, it is sickening sometimes, some of the stories that I hear. And, and, and I get calls and emails every day for quotes. And I'm like, yeah, it's gonna be 1200 bucks. And they're like, huh? You spent $4,000 on three different cameras. And what do you think you're gonna get? Like, you know, this company's 200. Okay, so it's, and I kind of put it in terms like this. If you go to get an oil change and you've got a $30,000 car or whatever, and there's a place, you know, average oil change, let's just say a hundred bucks, 70 bucks, whatever. And there's a company going, I'm gonna do an oil change for you for $8. And you go, eight bucks, I mean, why? <laughs> no, 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 I'm just gonna, just, no. And then you, and you don't check the reviews. Meanwhile, you do look and it's really, really bad. Um, shoddy mechanics, all just kind of dirty, filthy, you know. Oh no, but no, I'm gonna do a great job for eight bucks. And you just go, go ahead and put your car on the ramp. And then they screw up the bolt on the bottom, the sump. And they go, oh, wait a minute, there's more, you know, there's things that need to get done, you know, you need to spend this and that and the other. Oh, here we go. Meanwhile, you could have just spent a hundred bucks, a little bit over the, you know, average, because you'll get, and they go, oh, we've done your oils, we changed your filter, we've cleaned your car, um, that little chip in the windscreen, got a guy here that's gonna do it for free and give you a $50 kickback from your insurance company. And also, you know that wing mirror that was a little bit like, oh, we fixed that. And also, um, you know, here's a coupon for the next time for your tire rotation. Oh, we rotate you, you know, and you just go, oh my God, easy peasy. Yes, you get what you pay for, same analogy. Anyway, enough of my rambling here, um, but just consumer awareness, do your homework. You can go to gotmemories.com and get a quote from me if you are looking for cheap, don't care about your stuff. Just, ugh, it doesn't mean much to me. I just don't wanna spend that much. Don't waste your time or mine filling it out. I cater to people that care deeply about their memories because I care deeply about their memories and I care deeply about my business. I care deeply about my reputation. I am old school customer service, one-on-one -on -one because I'm pissed off at the state of not only this industry, but everywhere you go to eat, to get any sort of service done in this country, kind of the same in England as well. Just people don't care. They're just, uh, uh, you know, and you're like, fuck, you know, you know, I spent $37 on breakfast this morning and I look at it and I go, what? Be one thing if it was eight bucks, but it's not, it's 37. I like, that's the saddest breakfast that we've ever seen in our lives, you know? And then they want to tax and tip and uh, on that. So anyway. <laughs> I'm going off on one here, but my passion for customer service and quality product back is driven by the shoddiness of everything going on, especially post COVID. 
It's just atrocious. Um, but there are some shining lights out there that are really passionate about making sure everything's done correctly. If there ever is a problem, it's dealt with, you know, promptly on the ball and uh, taken care of. So all the best to you out there. Cheers. Bye. Oh, and like and subscribe and all that crap. All right. Cheers. Bye.